So our director, playwright, producer, Jacob Stebner, him and I go way back. We were good buddies all through high school, back in elementary school even. So he contacted me in November of 2016 and he said, hey, I've got a movie script. I want to make a movie. Do you want to make a movie? And I said, well, yeah, let's, let's do it. He said, it's tough for starting out actors and directors to get work, so let's do it ourselves. So he got in touch with me and then uh, from there we started organizing auditions, bringing in other people to the team and here we are, the project's grown into something so much bigger than we ever thought it would be. So he has been and just kind of you know move from the edge, sit on the edge, get into the pool, get out of the pool, wave at him, smile. No, 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 no. Okay, action. You know, it's tough, it's tough to get a gig acting somewhere where you've when you've never acted. So, Ben is getting trained as a theater actor and he's had tons of theater work, but on the film side of things, he's never really gotten any experience. And how do you get experience here when there's no films being made? So, we kind of came up with this project, uh, just an idea of, let's make a movie in Saskatchewan with Saskatchewan people for Saskatchewan and you know, center it here, make it feel really you know, Saskatchewan, and then share that with as many people as we can. And I wonder, because we have a wide of Jessica entering, right? And I think we should probably just cut into a little bit closer after short of all of her lines. He came up to me and he said, hey, I wrote this role. Essentially, I wrote it for you. Um, and that's something as an actor that doesn't come along very often, so I wasn't gonna pass up that awesome opportunity. So I said, yeah. Definitely, I'll, I'll be a part of this. I'll definitely come on and help you out. And then from there, I came on. We brought in our director of photography, Spencer Zimmerman. And then from there, we just started adding more and more people. Uh, people started bringing in people that they knew, and it turned into something that was originally going to be Jake and I really doing the mass majority of the work, and it's grown into this monster, so to speak, of all of these different people that are working so hard to put it together. And it's, it's really neat to see how much it's developed over such a short amount of time. All right, so, Mara, we're gonna have to get you saying Jack just before you open the door, just so we can get his reaction on the other side, then walk in. Can she like, yeah, can she go walk right through? Right It'd in. be easier if she stood just to the left of the Yeah, because otherwise her whole body is like okay. blocking the frame. Um, Jack? Jack? Yeah? Mm-hmm. My DOP, Spencer Zimmerman is a fantastic person, first of all. And second of all, it helps that he's an amazing filmmaker. He actually approached me. I, I saw him out one night and I saw him and he said, hey, I heard you're making a movie. I said, yeah, you know, we're, we're trying to get some stuff together. And he said, hey, I love making movies. I'm getting better at making movies and I want to tackle something bigger. I've been working on short films. I've been working on, you know, montages, stuff like that, and I want to do something bigger. Do you have someone who's going to work your camera? And I said, uh, no. I didn't even offer myself. I said, no, I don't have anybody. Um, is that something that you're interested in? And he said, that's the only spot I'm interested in. Okay, Dawson, I'm just going to go over here to slate it. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Montage Bologna, take three. I'm actually friends with the uh, director of photography, Spencer Zimmerman, and he messaged me one day and said, hey, like, do you want to come work on a film set? And I was you know, really excited to, to come and get involved. He initially asked me if I could be the boom operator and do the sound, and obviously, you know, I have never even touched a piece of audio equipment in my life. But we realized that due to my background in business with the degree I just received that I'd actually be a lot better fitted as the producer. Action! Jack? Once that got along and I got connected with, with Jacob and Spencer, I got the opportunity to read the script. Cut. And I realized what a great idea it was to shoot a film in Saskatchewan, specifically Saskatoon, and you know, be able to just do something ourselves. But I never cheated on him. If that's true, then he should know. But you told him that you still loved him and that it was a personal issue, and then right away you've got some new guy. 
And then you still expect him to believe you. She's coming in and she's trying to justify herself. I kind of knew who they were. I'm like, and I was kind of friends with Ben. So one day I got a text from Ben that was like, hey, you should come out and audition for my movie. And I was like, sure. Like, all right, sounds like fun. And at the time, I don't think I really knew what I was getting myself into. You know, I didn't expect anything out of it, but uh, <laughs> here we are. And I honestly am still having a hard time believing. <laughs> All of what, what all of this is, what all of this is happening, and that I'm here doing it. It's a lot of script. Uh, and it's all like terribly out of order now because I uh, have been just grabbing the pages I need. It's super weird to be like reviewing lines um, because I, I don't do that backstage, you know? like. I'm never sitting backstage looking at my lines. It's super weird to be reviewing them like shortly before you're expected to go out there and do them. <laughs> the character that I play is Jack, and actually it's a it's a really nice character to have developed because I feel like everyone has a little bit of Jack in them. He's a young guy who just got broken up with. He's heartbroken and that's something that, unfortunately, I think most of us have experienced. So I was uh, I was able to draw on past experiences that were both both good, both not so good. So going back in, reaching into those some not so great memories, some really great memories, and uh, I'm bringing them back up to to create Jack. You have no idea what you're talking about. Just drop it. No, this girl hurt you. She should know. I didn't cheat on you, Jack. Well, Sarah is the girl that Jack, you know, the main character, Jack meets when he comes like to the party. And Jack just kind of instantly falls for her, I suppose. And if you did cheat on him? Sarah is not like me at all. What a shame. Which is, uh, it's been fun, kind of. I mean, I don't think she's anything like me. Um, Sarah's kind of very quick and like uh, sharp in like multiple senses of the word, I suppose. Careful the script is a combination of a lot of things. It's, okay. you know, how I felt at a certain period of my life, <laughs> what I thought, what I wanted to happen, what I thought could have happened. You know, it's a combination of a lot of things. There's, there's a few things that happen in the movie that I would never do or never say. But, you know, you think about those things. You have to. When something happens in your life, you think of every angle of it. And this was me taking all those angles, finding the one that does justice to the story the most, and putting it in. So it, it's, it's the story of a night I wish I could have. You know, a night where you show up and you're down on your luck and you go through all these adventures with someone, you get close to someone, you open up to someone, and then at the end of the night, I don't want to ruin it, but you know, something happens and you have to, you have to make a decision and it's your decision. You decide what happens next. No, 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 we, we can, we can up the speed. Um, I think you uh, may have dropped a line before his monologue. What's the line? Oh, it, the biggest thing is that you've got to just go after what you want. That you can't be in control of every aspect of your life and that you've got to just do the things that are going to make you happy because in the end, they are what you want and they are what is going to make you happy. So no, no holding back just going for it is really, I feel like that's, that's almost Jack's mantra. That's what, that's what Jack learns, and I think that's what uh, I'm also learning through Jack. So I can pull off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Would you want that? Oh. Someone turn off that light. It's a big summer for acting, which is great. It's so good to be doing stuff, you know, getting together with people who really also want to be doing stuff and actually making something happen, you know. I think it's important to always be Finding ways to just be doing something, make something happen. <laughs> you kind of have to be a beacon for everybody, you know? If everybody's down, you have to bring them up. And if everybody's too up here, you gotta bring them down, you know? Let's, let's take this seriously or let's have some more fun with this, you know? It's finding that middle ground where you're keeping everybody on even keel on four hours of sleep every night. Writing a book, like we'll just get you doing different things. I think the future of this film is actually really bright. Uh, like, I, like I said, you know, there's been a lot of interest from the community to try and get this shown. We want to have a local Saskatoon premiere that will happen in December of 2017. And I think that it's going to be 
you know, hopefully, you know, obviously the dream is to get it in theaters, but I think it's, it's baby steps. It's getting those connections and it's trying to get it in every, every possible venue that we can. So that's just it. And like, I've had my makeup done. Biggest thing I hope for the audience is that they enjoy it. I hope they're able to take something from it. I hope they're able to see it and go, yeah, biggest lesson, follow what you want, get what you want. And I think, uh, I think they'll enjoy it. I hope they enjoy it. Ben and I are already talking, oh, it'd be so cool to do a Western. We're like, you know, we're dreaming, but it's, but it's, you know, this was a dream too. Right, this was just a dream that we had sitting talking. So you can you can say, yeah, we want to do a western. You can laugh about that, but you know, six months ago we were laughing about this too, and here we are. So it's it's commitment, it's motivation, and it's you know following through. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com.